Hello everyone, I welcome you all to a new session of this channel. In today's lesson, we are focusing on concept of measure of central tendency. It is a topic under statistics and it is one of the most important topics of statistics. What it discusses, it represents the center point of a data set. If you are having a data set, like here we are having, two, one, three, four, and four. So in here, what we do, we find a center point. We are going to find, we are going to discover by many ways, by many methods to find that midpoint, to find that central point. Three most common measure of central tendency are mean, median, and mode. Basically and usually we are having three types of measuring the central tendency and they are as mean, median and mode. What is a mean? Suppose you are having a data set of 2, 1, 3, 4 and 4 and someone is asking us to find the middle point, the central point here. So simply we call mean as average. So we can call it also as average and here what we do we sum up all of these numericals 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 divided by 5 why divided by 5 because we are having five numbers one number two number three four five when we are dividing it to five we are getting a mean of 2.8 and here 2.8 means that this is going to be the central point here this is very much easy to understand another one is median what is median in median first of all we adjust the numericals in ascending or descending orders so the usual one is from a smallest to the highest we can call it as ascending order so in here what we do we are having two one three four four as we were having here so we make it as ascending so ascending means from a smallest value to the highest value and here we are having one two three four four we are having five numbers so we are finding the central one so the central in here the midpoint the main value which is uh, and the center point is 3. Why 3? Because if, if suppose we are not making ascending or descending order, we will not be able to find the smallest value and the highest value. And here when we are making that, that arrangement, we are getting the smallest value as 1 and the highest value as 4. So when we are finding the center point, we are starting from here. So when we are starting, we are looking that two values are here and two values are here and this three is in between so this three becomes as median the center one the value which is located in the central and the median is three there is a bit difference between mean and median mean is 2.8 and median is three suppose if this is an even number because this is odd number one two three four five if we are having an even number which is six numbers in here one two three four five six so how we will find the median again we will having that we will be having the ascending or descending order so it is ascending order one two three four four five it is starting from the lowest value and getting increased reaching to the highest value in here when we are coming to the center point we are not finding an exact number because this was odd number then we were able to find the center point two number is here two number is here and this is the central point but in here we cannot find the one single number so what we do when we are coming from this side from right side and from the left side we are reaching to the two number because when we are getting two number the two number is left in the right side and the two number is left in the left side so we take average of these two numbers 3 plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 3.5 why we are taking two number because if we take 3 if we take only 3 so what would be the problem three numbers would be left in this side and two numbers would be left in this side then there is a big problem so by finishing this problem we take a solution which is advantageous to the right side and left side so we take two number and we take average or mean of this two number and we'll be finding 3.5 the another one is mode 
Mot says the number which repeats more, which repeats itself more and more, that will be as mode. In here, we are having two, one, three, four, four. So which number is repeated more frequently? Four, because we are having only one, two, one, 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 three, and two, four. So the mode is four. We see the differences that mean is 2.8, Median is 3 and mode is 4 for the same type of data. And here one question is there that it is asked which type of measure of central tendency is best. And here we are having no exact answer for this question. Why? Because according to the data set, any one of them could be uh, very much feasible and any one of them could be unrealistic and here we see that if you are having weight weight in kgs so suppose a person who is going to weigh himself who is weighing himself and he is having 50 kg day 1 50 kg day 2 50 kg day 3 50 kg day 4 50 kg and day 5 200 kg this is something impossible yes because a person who is already 50 kg, he may become 51 kg or 52 kg. But it is impossible to suddenly we reach 200 kgs. And here, such a type of data set is given to us. What we do, if we find the mean, we accumulate all of them and divide it by 5 because there are 5 numbers. When we plus all of them, 200 plus 50, 50, 50, 50, it will become 400, 400 divided by 5, it will become as AD. So this is mean. Now when we find the median, what we do, we come, we make it as ascending order. So this is ascending order, 50, 50, 50 and 200. So when it is adjusted, we are finding the median. So in here median is 50 because we are coming two numbers from here, two numbers from here and the 50 is the central point. After that, when we are going for mode, mode is the number which is repeated most frequently. So in here, 50 has been repeated most frequently and mode is 50. And here the question is, now which one is much better? And here we can see that median and mode is much better. It is giving much more appropriate result than mean. Because mean is something uh, in here, it is taking into consideration all the numericals and here we find that and here we find that mean is much related to symmetrical symmetrical digits to symmetrical numbers how if the if the new if the numericals if the data set is much close to each other when they are much close to each other then mean is much more feasible and practically acceptable then if, if something, a number is coming which is really strange for us. And here it is really strange. Because how it is possible that someone was 50 kg, 50 kg, 50 kg and now he is becoming as 200 kg. Then in here we can say that mean is not much more practically accepted. Because median and mode is acceptable. I hope I have and uh, I have answered your question because we don't know exactly on which time mean is better mode is better or median is better for this type of videos you can comment below and i will make much more uh, informative videos for you if you are a subscriber of this channel it's awesome to see you again and again if you are not a subscriber yet then just click that red button right there and join me for the next class. Have a good day, take care and bye-bye.